Gosh, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Don't let it out. I don't want to. Beautiful be you. To fall. To fall. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Because he in real life. Okay, you can pause it now. Okay. Channing, can you give me a, a paper towel or something? Okay. I'm I'm catching them. So they're <laughs> not, try, she's they're try, not falling. She's trying to catch her tears. They're right at the bottom. <laughs> because I put on setting powder. And so <laughs> What we know how to do is mess up my setting power. <laughs> Praise God. Come on. Oh, God. Come on, hurry up. Oh, hurry up and Lord. catch it. Oh, Lord. That if did. you didn't have makeup on, I would, I would tell you to let it let it fall. Oh, but that, that did. And it's coming off. Okay. Oh, God. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Okay. Yeah. So, why, why are you crying? I don't want to talk about why I'm crying. You got to talk about why you're crying because the people see you crying. Oh, so, for us God. to, like, skim past it, it's kind of like, you know, you, we're here now. Oh, man. God is good. Did, 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 I, I forgot they showed that shot of that that stud who was in the corner, mm -hmm. and she stood up and she was crying. Mm -hmm. I talked to her later. Yeah, she gave her life to the Lord. She gave her life to the Lord at night, yeah. and I forgot about that. Yeah. And so, was it that that made you cry? Mm -mm. I I think it. I, I'm trying to be very uh, objective and not subjective. I I think just seeing God's kindness, in that like. Even how in that place, my message hasn't changed. Wow. You know, like how the emphasis, I end with the emphasis being God. Mm -hmm. Not not to leave, not to try to escape hell, not to try to be straight, not to get married, not to have kids, not to have a ministry. Not Like all of that is cool, but like the emphasis like is the Lord. And yeah. it, to me, that's just the Holy Spirit. It's mm. not even me. It's like, oh, the Lord really did change me and he's kept me because my message hasn't shifted. Yeah, It's been, become more clear, more defined, but... And so I'm just over here overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh. You you know, you know, the most beautiful thing I think with it with this poem that I see. Um, one, you were very honest about homosexuality, mm -hmm. about truth, about God's truth. But because you spoke about it in such an experiential type of way, you were able to resonate with this topic in ways that I haven't seen anybody at that time mm -hmm. talk about it. But also, too, I think the beautiful thing about your testimony is that because God brought you out, God also gave you a, a beautiful gift to articulate his gospel. But because you literally came from the lifestyle, you have a heart for the community. Yeah. And so all this truth that you presented in the poem, you know, it was hard. But how 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 you ended it in hope was so beautiful. Yeah. Speaking directly to the stud, you are beautiful. Yeah. The the God that God the, the the person that God made you to be beautiful. You cannot be a real boy. You are not Pinocchio. Mm. Beautiful. Like and, and so that, that's when she stood up. And that gets is when the, she started to be affirmed. And that gets to the heart of the matter, is that so many of us. I think I, I think. Gender norms and all of that is is a thing, right? Like how society constructs these stereotypes of what femininity is, is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And we have to learn how to like read that through the lens of scripture. How, yep. does, how does God define womanhood? How does God define femininity and all of that? 